Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alvin. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. Did Jesus ever describe what hell is like? Is there any kind of physical evidence that Jesus gives of what the realities of hell are really like? Did he talk about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, remember, we're in the parable of the weeds and the wheat. And Jesus, of course, is a planter of the wheat, and the field is the world, and the wheat are those who believe in Jesus. The planter of weeds is Satan in the world, and the weeds are those who follow Satan, who don't believe in Jesus, and who Satan has led and manipulated and guided. And so that's the two different kind of entities that we're talking about that Jesus discusses in this parable. And then we pick it up in these words in Matthew chapter 13. So the servant said to him, then do you want us to go out and gather them? But he said, no, less than the gathering, the weeds, you root up the wheat along with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And at the harvest time, I will tell the reapers, gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned. Wow. Okay, now he explains this later in chapter 13 of Matthew. The harvest is the close of the age, and the reapers are the angels. Just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire, so it will be at the close of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels... And they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and lawbreakers and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So there, when Jesus comes back, the angels will gather the weeds, those who are not believers in Christ. And then what will Christ do? He's going to cast them into hell. And there's three things that Jesus describes hell to be. First of all, it's fiery. It is hot. Secondly, there is weeping, and I don't know what the weeping is going to be like for those folks that reject Christ, maybe weeping over their sin, weeping over the fact they rejected Christ, weeping over the fact that they didn't acknowledge Jesus for who he was. I don't know what the weeping is going to be, but it's going to be perpetual. It's going to be perpetual fire, it's going to be perpetual weeping, and there's going to be gnashing of teeth. Now, in the Old and also in the New Testament, gnashing of teeth meant this, intense deep-seated anger, right? Like that. As a matter of fact, when Stephen um, witnessed the, the, this incredible statement about what Christ had done and who he was and why he came, and he said, you guys, he said to the Pharisees and religious leaders, you guys are responsible for the crucifixion of the Son of God. They were so angry, they were gnashing their teeth. Okay, so anger means, gnashing of teeth means intense, deep-seated anger. And so when people are in hell, there's going to be incredible anger. Anger over the fact that they rejected Christ. Anger over the fact of where they're at. Anger maybe over the fact that they're separated from God eternally. So it's going to be hot. It's going to be fiery. There's going to be weeping perpetually. There's going to be perpetual anger. Okay? So tremendous anguish. Tremendous torment. I had one guy describe it this way. He said, imagine the most painful experience, physical experience of your life. Maybe the breaking of a bone or some sort of cancer or whatever. Maybe whatever it is, the most painful experience you can think of in your life. And now multiply that a billion times. That's what hell is like. Take the saddest experience in your life. Maybe there was a loss of a loved one or something that tragic happened and that made you incredibly sad. Take the saddest moment in your life and multiply that billions of times. That's what hell is like. And it never stops. It never ends. It never quits. It's eternal. That's a frightening thought. But do you know what? We've been rescued from that. And if you don't know Jesus as Savior and Lord, I encourage you to repent of your sin and put your trust in Jesus. And then you'll be rescued, redeemed, and saved from the very reality of hell itself. I mean, it's a real place. We've said that before. It's a real place and real place Real, real, real people go there. It's a real place. Somebody said, but Pastor Dave, you need to tell people that heaven is a real place and real people go there too. We do. And why do we go there? Because we believe in Jesus. And how do we 
escape the, the wrath of God's punishment in hell? How do we escape that? By putting our trust in Jesus. So I'm encouraging you today to put your trust in Jesus. And then this reality of hell, uh, eternal fire, anguish, torment, weeping, tremendous anger that goes on forever. You'll be rescued, saved, and delivered from that if you repent of your sin and put your trust in Jesus. So here's the point of daily truths. The point of daily truths is put your trust in Jesus. We said a couple days ago, maybe a week ago, the whole methodology and focus and aim of daily truths is Jesus and Jesus and Jesus. And Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Jesus Christ is the one who rescues us from the punishment and pangs of hell. Jesus Christ is the one who gives eternal life. Put your trust in Jesus. And then what Jesus talks about hell being like in the Bible today will never, ever be your final reality. Thanks be to God. We have a Savior, a Redeemer in Jesus Christ, saving us from the very real punishment of hell. And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.